Hello, in this video tutorial I will show you just briefly how to change and present video files in Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5. This video will not include all the nice tricks and intricacies. This might happen elsewhere. Already in Lightroom 4 these things are possible. Trim the video, change color and contrast, export the changed video to a new MP4 file. Lightroom 5 added one new feature. Present the video in a slideshow together with other photos, videos, text and audio and export this presentation as one new mp4 video file. Anything else you need? I think it's not possible within Lightroom 4 or 5. Oh, and my name is Heiko Neumeyer. You see, these are video files as Lightroom shows the running time here. When you move the cursor over the thumbnails, you can see the content of the video. I am not pressing the mouse button right now. Look, this video has 51 seconds and when the mouse cursor is not over the video, the thumbnail shows the empty beach, without the beach walker who is 7 seconds away or so. We will now do two things. We will trim the video and we will change the thumbnail to see the beach walker in the thumbnail. Double click to go to this view. Click here on this gear wheel to show the frames. You see, in the second half there is a tourist on a surfboard. I don't want him to appear in the video, so I will cut away the end. The video should end around here. You simply move this handle to the left to edit out the end of the video. Of course, you could also change the beginning. Now to get the beach walker onto the video thumbnail, I move the marker to the beach walker. Then you use this icon and you click on Set Poster Frame. Now let's go back to the regular grid view. And you see, the video is now only 25 seconds long and the beach walker appears in the thumbnail. Of course, there is no harm whatsoever to the video file itself. As always in Lightroom, the media file itself remains fully in the original state. So how to change color and contrast? I select one video and I display my right hand panels. As you know, the develop department has powerful correction tools, so I click develop. But Lightroom comes up with this. Video is not supported in develop. So, to change color and contrast, you go back to Library and you open the Quick Develop panel. There are a few basic adjustment controls here and some of them can be used on video files. You see, you can use Presets and White Balance. You can also use Automatic Adjustment, Exposure and Contrast, Whites and Blacks, and vibrance. But other controls are dimmed. You can only use them on photos but not on videos. So, not available for video are highlights and shadows and clarity. To remove all your changes on contrast and color, you click on Reset All. You see, for video there aren't so many controls available. But some more is still possible. You can use saved presets on video. A preset combines several of Lightroom's controls in a set, so that you can apply this complex change with one click. And these presets here contain more Lightroom adjustment controls. They are not here in the Quick Develop panel, but they are still allowed on a video. These other controls you can use from inside a preset include Tone Curve, Black and White or Split Toning. Here Lightroom has a number of presets especially for videos. Let's try this one. 
Black and White High Contrast. And let's play it. And as you know, you can always easily bring the video back to the original look. Here I revert this way. Photo, Develop Settings, Reset. There are so many other presets here, combinations of various Lightroom functions put together for a complex change. Let's try this one. Color Presets, Aged Photo. But here we get a message. We learn that Lightroom only applies some of the planned adjustment changes to the video. It will apply, among others, exposure, contrast, tone curve and split toning. But this preset obviously has more adjustments built in and these other adjustments are not available for videos in Lightroom 4 and 5. Some of the functions not available for videos include Gradual filter, radial filter, sharpening, noise reduction, lens corrections. Let's click OK anyway. Now Lightroom applies some of the planned adjustments to the video, but not all the adjustments that make up this certain preset, aged photo, that we clicked. You see, the video has changed, but not enough. For instance, our selected preset Aged Photo also includes the adjustment Post-Crop Vignetting. This means darker corners. But this Post-Crop Vignetting is only available for still photos, not for videos. The preset is not fully applied, you only get parts of the effect. I will now undo this change with a keyboard command. You can build your own preset even with one specific video in mind, and then apply your personal preset from the Quick Develop panel. That way, you could use Tone Curve or Black and White conversion exactly the way you need it. And how to create this personal, video-specific preset, we could discuss in another video tutorial later, if you like. Anyway, a few basic changes are possible for videos. But a lot of advanced controls in Lightroom are only available for still photos. And by the way, so far there are no differences between Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5. You have trimmed your video, you changed color and contrast. You can now save the result as a new MP4 video file that reflects all your changes. The command is File Export. Just set this menu to Hard Drive. Then you open the Video section and here you take H264. This will create the MP4 video file including all your changes. If you use Lightroom 5, then there is another way to export. In the Slideshow module of Lightroom 5, you can include videos and still photos into one presentation and you can export the whole sequence of photos and videos into one new mp4 file. The new mp4 file will also include any borders and text overlays you create in the slideshow department. It will include audio as well. Look, I have already selected a music file and here I control the audio balance, the trade-off between original video sound and music. This works for a slideshow straight out of Lightroom and you can roll it all into one new mp4 video file. You just select Slideshow, Export Video Slideshow. There are just a few resolutions here, no other settings for the video quality. But of course you should first try Preview or Play. So that was just a brief overview of what you can do with video files in Lightroom 4 and 5. I hope you found it useful and I will remain your Heiko Neumeyer.